Sometimes the guts to stand up to an armed robber is enough to win the day. Hey everybody, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. This one, I don't have any geographic information on, so if you do, put it in a comment so I can add it to the description, would you please? Ammo is crazy expensive and hard to find, and dry fire is life. I use the Mantis X10 to keep my handgun skills strong, and it makes dry practice fun and challenging. Check it out at the link below. The armed robbery is already in progress as this one gets going. You see the guy on the left side of the counter with a knife in his left hand and our clerk is then going to start grabbing things off the counter and going to work on this guy, looking under the counter for something as well and, and going for that but can't get to whatever the heck it is. And so he's using, I don't know what the heck that is, a change jar or something like that to keep that guy off of him, something heavy hopefully. And that does a pretty okay job for a minute. Now notice here that our bad guy's like just pointing stuff out with the knife in his left hand. Hey, give me this thing, give me that thing. When he starts coming around, our good guy's gonna throw that big heavy thing at him, pick something else up, like a big ball of twine or something, uh, and actually get cut there. So the little bit of information that I have says that our uh, shopkeeper did get cut on this one, uh, but thankfully I don't think too bad. Now he's gonna grab the chair and the chair is gonna do a better job. Dude's gonna decide he's had enough and run off and that's where this one ends. Good stuff. If you wanna work on your skill set, not just your mindset like we do here at Active Self Protection, join us on our second channel, Active Self Protection Extra. There's a link in the description. I teach skill set there along with a couple of really highly trusted trainers seven days a week. Join us, would you? As this one begins, our first lesson, bad guys using that knife as an intimidation tool. You would give me what I want or I will end up cutting you with this. Now, I would strongly prefer that our clerk have a purpose-built force multiplier, but we are gonna see here that the counter is gonna help him a little bit. But the fact of the matter is he doesn't have a purpose-built force multiplier, that's really gonna hurt him. So instead, he's going to grab something here, and the first thing he grabs is his phone. Now, I will tell you this, the phone is not gonna help you. You're gonna have to win that fight by yourself. Nobody is coming to save you. You may as well be writing in your diary trying to call somebody on the phone and have them come and get you. It's just basically, dear diary, I'm in the middle of an armed robbery and this is what's happening because nobody is coming to save you. All of your self-defense is up to you and you must do the things that are necessary in order to protect yourself. So forget about the phone, do the things that you need and be properly equipped and ready to do that. That is incredibly important from an attitude perspective. Now then, our clerk ends up using a... a environmental weapon. And if you don't have any purpose-built weapons on you, then grabbing something in your environment that's maybe not purpose-built as a firearm or a, a defensive tool, but can be used as a defensive tool is another option and it's a thing. And, and I think that's completely fine. Now, of course, I would strongly prefer a purpose-built tool because it is going to be more effective and easier to use than an improvised tool. But if it's all you have, then you have to have attitude first, then skills, and then a plan in order to defend yourself. Now, notice he's trying to get something here. And what is he trying to find? But notice that, that as he's trying to find that, the bad guy has a vote in him being able to get it. So I don't know if he had a pepper spray or even a firearm under the counter, but whatever is staged under that counter is not going to do anything for you in the moment. Or sometimes we see it as effective. It does sometimes work, but in cases like this, it sure didn't which is why I say it should be on your person rather than staged under the counter. Now, I think the counter did a pretty good job of protecting our clerk here, and thankfully he's willing to use what he's got, and you notice that, that the threat of throwing it kept the bad guy off him a little bit and gave him a little bit of space, and that's what you want against a knife. Against a knife, you want distance. You wanna have a tool that's a longer tool than what is being used against you. Of course, a firearm has a functionally infinite distance in, um, in a defensive encounter. But in this case, uh, you know, the, the knife is uh, a short range tool, but eventually the bad guy is going to overcome those limitations. And that's exactly what happened here. He puts it over the counter and sticks it in the clerk. Now, uh, thankfully, because of the distances involved, it wasn't a bad cut, it was a small cut. But of course we want no cuts. And so, you know, I know that there's that old saw that people say, well, in a knife fight, you're absolutely gonna get cut. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think if this clerk had been properly equipped himself, that this fight would have ended an awful lot faster. That said, he's gonna go now to like, you know, a, a something else and finally grab, I think probably the most effective tool he had, which is the chair. And the reason I think that that's probably the most effective tool he had is because the chair has some length and it can prevent the, the bad guy from being able to touch him with the knife. So, so not just the threat of having something thrown at him, but providing a physical barrier 
is a, a very good solution against a knife. Now, it's not going to work forever, though, because a bad guy can come and, and take that chair away from you, fight you for the chair or whatever. Thankfully, in this case, ended up being effective. Dude ended up running off. Okay, fine. Let's think about purpose-built versus improvised weapons on this one. Think about staged versus on your person. I think on your person is much, much better to cover your ass.